thank you for tuning into my channel and today we're going to be talking about how to take care okay of your gold or silver plated jewelry even your stainless steel jewelry how do you take care of it what's the proper care for your jewelry all right i do a lot of jewelry reviews all the links of everything you will see in this video is in the description box below please go to the description box and you can get whatever you see in this video in the description box okay with that said let's get right into it all right so the first thing I want to talk about is my jewelry pad, okay? Velvet, what is this? Velvet? Okay, this is my jewelry pad right here, right? So I like to have a jewelry pad here because when I buy my jewelry, especially when it's new, I don't like to slam it against a hard surface. That's how you get nicks and bangs on any metal, even if the gold or silver is real. It doesn't matter. If it keeps scratching and scraping against a hard surface, it's going to get damaged. So I don't want to be the person responsible for damaging my own jewelry, okay? If it get damaged, I want it to be from regular wear and tear. So I got this velvet jewelry pad, link at the bottom. So the first thing I do is I clean the jewelry pad off, get all the lint off. Now, this sticky roller right here, you might want to invest in one of these, all right? This sticky roller is beautiful. It gets all as much lint and things like that as possible, all right? So once I do that, I always use my white gloves right here. Okay, my Michael Jackson, y'all might have seen me in my other video, white gloves, link in the description box. Billy Jean is not my lover, <laughs> she's just a girl that send out. So I'm going to put on my Michael Jackson slow criminal <laughs> gloves. Now why do I put on these gloves? I put on these gloves because I don't want the moisture in my hand to get on the jury. Alright, then I'm about to mess with. So the next thing that I like to do is we're gonna take this jewelry out right here so we're gonna act like we bought a piece of jewelry this is an old ring that i have it's actually sterling silver and those are actual real diamonds in there believe it or not but it's kind of dirty i keep my silver i keep my jewelry in an anti-tarnish bag okay so this is an anti-tarnish bag right here and the link is at the bottom so remember the silver and any plated jewelry you want to keep in an anti-tarnish bag it preserves it very well. I haven't had any jewelry tarnish on me. Um, because I have so much plated jewelry, I like to rotate my plated jewelry so it won't get tarnished. What happens is people have plated jewelry, then they get mad with it tarnished. Well, the everyday wear and tear, plated jewelry not made for that. But if you just gotta wear your jewelry every day and you don't have different pieces like myself, get you an anti-tarnish bag, invest in these. These are good. Always clean your jewelry before you put it in an anti-tarnish bag. All right, and I'm gonna show you that, what products you need for that. Now, another thing I like to do is, I like to put the double whammy on there, and I have an anti-tarnish strip. And I put that inside of the bag with the piece of jewelry. I don't keep a lot of jewelry in one bag. I normally keep one bag and one strip for one piece of jewelry. Another thing that I have for my jewelry is Weeman Silver Wipes Polish and Tarnish Remover. This stuff right here is the bomb, okay? So I don't like putting no type of wetness or water on my plated jewelry at all. So this is uh, what I use. So let's just use this silver piece for a great example. And this is like a rough cleaning. I would just, you know, get a toothbrush. I'm not about to do all that right now. Get those diamonds, as you can see the cloth is sticking. You know what I'm saying? get a toothbrush clean that off you know just wipe it down real good and then I get a chamois cloth and I just wipe it down because this is silver I probably run some water on it just to get that extra out of there diamonds is kind of sticking on to the prong sets at least I know they're prong set I can't stand glued in diamonds like I said these are real diamonds here and I'm just using this for an example I'm not doing like a deep cleaning you know so we're gonna put that to the side so these wipes are the bomb and I like them because you can use these wipes on polish and tarnish you know stuff that tarnish so that's why I'm recommending these instead of putting your stuff in water if it's plated you don't want to put it in water okay these chamoy cloths are good because I don't like a lot of lint and stuff in there now I'll probably have to get like a rush brush brush and go over that to get those out of the prong sets that ring has got a lot of Process it, which I, like I said I like that because I know my diamonds is set now after I do that and I dry it off to get that polish on there 
what I do is I take a uh, eternal polishing cloth, link at the bottom, internal polishing cloth, and they got the brown and white ones that come with it. And I wipe it down after that. And I also do this after I wear my jewelry. So if I go out on a hot date and I wear my plated jewelry or my silver jewelry, because I also do this for silver jewelry, excuse me. Also because silver jewelry, what it does is it oxidizes. It's not fake, it's oxidized. That's the bad part about silver. A lot of silver is rhodium plated and that's what keeps the silver looking good, but the jewelry stores don't want to tell you that. That's another reason why I wear plated jewelry because there's no such thing as fake gold or fake cereal. That's what the jewelry stores don't want to tell you. You know what I mean? It's all about how much gold is in something because you can't wear a full gold plated watch or ring or necklace because gold is too soft to just have gold. You have to mix it with other metals. So why would I waste my money buying a full gold plated necklace and it's not really full gold when I can buy a five times plated gold piece and if it cost me a hundred bucks and I uh, gotta buy another one, you know how many times I would have to buy that, let's say Cuban link gold necklace before I actually buy one that's full gold and the full gold one is still not fully gold. <laughs> y'all get what I'm saying. So this, the brown one with the eternal polishing cloth is the one that cleans it even though it's already clean. But then you go to the white and you can see mine kind of dirty because I use mine, it's time to order some, some more. And then I get that final polish on there, that final dry off. Yes, I do this to all my jewelry. Yes, plated and all. This is why my stuff looks real. That's why it never tarnishes. I get the best fake jewelry. <laughs> How about that? If you want to just call it fake jewelry, I get the best fake jewelry. So when I go places, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what real diamonds, you know, VVS simulated, whatever. Okay. Okay. So then after I do that, I notice I still got my gloves on. All right. So I put this ring back into the bag. It's all good now. You know what I'm saying? So I've had this ring for a long time, y'all. So that ring right there is, you know, nice and clean. As you can see, mine is bipped and banged up, but it's clean. I'm going to put it back in the bag, and I'm going to put my anti-tarnish strip in the bag as well. And I'm going to make sure ain't no air in it. Get all the air out, and then I'm going to zip it up. And voila, that's how you take care of your jewelry. All right. Now, for your stainless steel jewelry, because I have a lot of stainless steel jewelry, you want to go through the same thing I just did. The difference is you can run water. I'm gonna tell you another reason why I don't like running water on it. Another reason why I like running water on it, even though I was having trouble with the prong set diamonds, is because you, you, you don't want your fake diamonds or whatever you want to call them, simulated diamonds to get cloggy and cloudy and, 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 and foggy, okay? So what I do is I use this right here, stainless steel, Scotch Guard, stainless steel cleaner, okay? Resist fingerprints and smudges, no drip foam. And what I do is I take a stainless steel piece and I clean this, clean them with that. I foam it up on both sides and I let it sit. So I use this Scotch Guard stainless steel cleaning for my stainless steel jewelry. If it's got diamonds in it, I just be careful about where I spray the diamonds. Cause like I said, I don't want no wetness on the diamond part, you know, but this is good for stainless steel jewelry. And then after you clean it, you do this before you do everything I just showed you with stainless steel jewelry. So with stainless steel jewelry, you do this before you do everything else that I just showed you. And make sure you don't do it over this pad. You know, you know I don't want no cleaner getting on this pad. You want to keep this for dryness. But basically, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you take care of your jewelry. I will be doing a review and showing y'all how I clean my stainless steel jewelry so y'all can kind of get, if the stainless steel jewelry don't have no diamonds in it, you can run water on it, no problem. If it does have diamonds, a few of my pieces got stainless steel and they got the, you know, the diamonds in it, then you don't want to run no water on it. Or if you can run water just on a part that don't have no diamonds, that's fine. Hot water, I would suggest, not cold water, hot water to get whatever off. Dry it off real good and you're good to go. This is how I take care of my jewelry. So until the next time, thank you for tuning in. God bless y'all. Please don't forget to subscribe to my page. 
more reviews coming up. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.